so many of these people from 1997 uh, 96 so many of these people are deceased people. you could call Keith Gray's a black history buff I think there are things that bring me joy and this brings me joy by twists of fate and an abundance of blessings, the local business owner has managed to capture some of Amarillo's most prominent moments in black history. Like in 1996, when he spent three days with American activist Rosa Parks during her Pathways to Freedom tour. She lived to tell her story and she blessed Amarillo, Texas by coming to West Texas and we had students that were bussed in from surrounding areas, and it was the highlight of, 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 of my life. But then there were others. Right up there next to that is General Cohen Powell. He's at a lectern speaking to our city, and there are just no comparisons. And while most locals remember the trial that brought Oprah Winfrey to the High Plains, um, she wanted to go to a morning service. Grace, who was working in music ministry at Mount Zion Baptist, went to church with Oprah. She loved our community. And those are just some of the memories Grace has held on to all these years. But now his mission is to share them with the next generation. In one of the classes I walked into last month, they were studying Rosa Parks. And I said, I got to spend three days with Mrs. Parks here in Amarillo, Texas. One kid said, no, because Mrs. Rosa Parks is not alive anymore. And that was priceless. Priceless moments preserved in Amarillo's black history. Living in Amarillo as an African-American has never not been for me one of deprivation and lack, and more specifically, lack of culture. Now, Grace, Grace says he plans to pass down all of his picture albums to the younger generation in his family.